is often said that spring is the very best time of year to go carp fishing. And if you go carp fishing in the spring, you're much more likely to catch carp than at any other time of year. Now, while this may be the case, if you know what you're doing, there's certain things that you can do to put the odds in your favour. Now, every year on YouTube, you see several videos that come out with spring carp fishing tips, and they very much often follow the same kind of format, you know, similar tips like bright hook baits, don't use too much bait, look for the shallower water, these types of things. And I don't see the point in me making the same type of video as that every single year for you. So what I've done is I've put together several spring carp fishing tips that you may not have heard before. Things that I've heard from reading books, you know, my own experience and talking to other people, etc. And I'm going to tell you these tips now. And if you put them into your fishing this spring, I feel like you've got a much better chance of catching a carp. Now the first tip that I can give you, and this is a really good one actually, is to try and find fresh weed growth on your lake. Now the reason for that is because it will hold natural food and it's kind of the first place on the lake where the carp will start looking for food when they come out of their kind of winter slumber really. And they will know these areas because of the kind of light levels and the sort of cycle of the lake every year, the fish get to know it and they'll gravitate towards those areas in preparation for when that weed emerges. So if you can suss out where that is going to be, you can kind of start putting some bait in there and get them used to eating it before you even start fishing the lake. If you, you know, start in a new lake um, and get those areas prepped, ready for when the fish turn up and they can start eating your bait, get confident and then you're more likely to catch them when you go fishing. So how do you find the weedy areas? Well, on a clear lake, it can be as simple as walking around with your polarized sunglasses on looking, climbing trees, trying to see what's down on the bottom and you might see the first green shoots coming up. Quite often you're going to look for where the sun is hitting the lake most. Look in those areas first if the water's clear, but if not, a lead such as this one, which is actually a sea fishing breakaway style lead, it's got these prongs on it. Now I've actually chopped them off with wire cutters because they're normally quite a bit longer, but I've cut them down to be only about sort of uh, a centimetre or so sticking out from the edge of the lead. Um, and what that does is you cast that out in the lake and you drag it back. As long as you know you're not fishing over kind of a snaggy area, sort of a, you know, silty lake, sort of gravel, um, gravel pit type places, you cast that out and drag it. And if you're over silt, you know, it'll just be fairly smooth and it'll slide, but then you might start feeling it sort of plucking a little bit. And when you wind it in, you might bring in some nice fresh weed which will give away one of those spots which can be a real hot spot in the spring. Look for the natural food in that weed as well and that will give you even more confidence to start fishing those areas. Now what I like about this style of lead particularly is that these do break away so that if you do get snagged on anything, you know, the, um, the prongs can kind of break away and you should get your lead back and you're not leaving it out in the lake. But also you do get more like the fixed style ones like that with the prongs kind of fixed uh, and also for particularly kind of snaggy or weedy lakes you've got these more smooth type ones which shouldn't snag up on anything really but will still pick up bits of weed if you're lucky enough to find it so that's a really great tip for the spring is to find where the fresh weed growth is it's the first place the natural food will be and the carp know that so they'll tend to head for those areas right the next tip is to fish the north or northeastern margin of the lake the reason being that the sun will rise in the east and travel around the southern side of the lake and set in the west. So for most of the day, for the longest part of the day, the sun will be shining on that northern bank or the sort of northeastern bank of the lake. And carp in the spring are looking to be comfortable, a bit like us really, we're looking for warmth. So anywhere where the sun is hitting the lake, particularly on a margin because it'll be shallower water, where it'll warm up a bit quicker than the deeper water because the light will penetrate quicker. The carp will get in that area for the warmth, but also the natural food will also gravitate towards those areas because of that warmer water and things that are hatching and emerging at that time of year will generally happen on that north or northeastern margin. So in the spring, fish that margin and you'll have a lot better chance 
of fishing where the carp are going to be. The next tip I can give you for spring carp fishing is to pick your fishing conditions. So only go carp fishing in the spring when you think the conditions are going to be right. So I'll just run you quickly through what I mean by the correct conditions. So generally I'm looking for two or three days of warmer weather. So anything above 10 degrees, you don't want to go when it's been frosty, when you've got clear blue skies, high pressure, fog, that sort of thing. They're not good conditions. What you want is a couple of warm days, maybe the sun gets on the water. And then like today, we've got a nice overcast. We've got a trickle of southwesterly wind blowing. So that warm water that the couple of warmer days has given us is now getting blown nicely down to the northern end of the lake so it goes back to the other tip that I said about fishing the north or northeastern edge of the lake that southerly wind is blowing that warmer water down there it's just adding to the attraction of that end of the lake so that margin really is going to be kicking off on this session basically you've got to really pick your conditions in the spring try not to go when it's been cold go after a bit of warmer weather when the water might have warmed up look for overcast look for southerly wind look for warmer temperatures even kind of stormy conditions are really good as well it kind of stirs the fish up and gets them moving don't fish when it's cold or foggy or icy you've got a lot less chance of catching right the next tip then and this is an interesting one is to take advantage of the birds I know that sounds a bit weird, not, not those kind of birds. If you really watch what the bird life on your lake is doing, they can tell you a lot about what's going on underneath the surface. Firstly, things like coots and tufties, they need to dive down to feed. So if you see them diving in an area, they're obviously diving on some sort of food source. Now, whether that be other anglers bait that's been left from you know, previous sessions or someone baiting up, or they might be feeding on natural food that's emerging in the lake. Sometimes if you watch them with binoculars, you can kind of see what they're coming up with in the mouth and it might be a boilie, it might be a bit of corn or, you know, whatever. It might be a bit of weed even, but as we've said before, weeds are a good thing to look for in the spring. So really, really watch what the bird life are doing. The other thing about birds is very much the same as carp and humans, they like to be warm. So quite often they will be in an area all huddled together, which tends to be kind of the more warm part of the lake. So if you kind of follow the birds and see where they are and then watch the water in that area quite often you'll see a carp show in amongst them and also you know the birds if they spook sometimes that's because a carp's gone near them things like that it's really worth watching the birds and the last bit about birds as well which is a little bit gross is that carp will actually eat their poo so if they're in a big group you know a load of birds all together on the lake and they're pooing, the carp will use that food source because it's kind of digested nutrients that the birds have eaten and passed through and there's still some goodness in there and carp will actually eat that. So birds can tell you a hell of a lot about what's going on under the water. So don't ignore them. I know they're annoying, but actually they can really help us catch a lot more fish, especially in the spring. Right, so have you ever considered any other types of food sources for carp? Obviously there's snails, there's invertebrates, insects and things, there's larva that's hatching, even weed and stuff like that, carp will kind of try and ingest and you know you often get weed gets ripped up by the carp when they're feeding so looking for that sort of thing, weed floating up to the surface is a good way of indicating where the carp are but also other species in the lake will quite often spawn before the carp, particularly things like tench, bream, roach and that sort of thing so if you can work out or actually observe other species spawning um, this is a real good area to look for carp and I remember once I was fishing my club lake on the Isle of Wight near where I live and there was a real load of activity near some tree roots on an island um, and it was quite close to my bank because it was only a narrow channel through and I could see that it was bream kind of up near the surface kind of splashing with each other and I decided to fish near that area for the night and ended up catching six carp overnight. So it kind of proved to me that the carp were coming in and feeding on that sort of spawn that the bream had left behind. And funnily enough, I didn't catch any bream, even though bream were in the area, but obviously they were preoccupied with their spawning and, um, and the carp were there feeding on that. So basically what I'm saying is any kind of natural food that is being created by the sort of natural processes in the lake, particularly 
you know, as it starts warming up, the carp will try and capitalise on that. They're much more likely to feed on natural food than, than anglers bait really because they realise that it's safer. So look for areas where fish will spawn. Places like what you can see behind me here, you've got the reeds coming up, starting to shoot, and any other species in the lake tend to spawn a little bit earlier than carp. So keep an eye on those areas. If you see bream spawning or tench spawning, fish those areas for the carp and you'll have a really good chance of catching the fish of your dreams this spring.